it's ironic that one of the uh, real advantages of digital photography, the ability to see the images at the time you make the photograph, is also now being subject to some derision by people suggesting that if you take the time to look at your photographs after you make them, you're somehow not taking advantage of the flow of time and you might miss some images. Well, I would contend that one of the real advantages of being able to really fine-tune the exposure into the kind of photograph that you want is the ability to look at the photograph after you've made it, take that guess that the light meter made, see how that actually recorded on the sensor by inspecting the histogram, and then modifying subsequent exposures if you need to so that you really do take as full advantage of the sensor the tonal range definitions of the image and be able to move the image into the best possible quality that you can. You've got to remember that the light meter was always a guess at the exposure and we did our best to cope with the fact that it was a guess by having an 18 percent gray card to give the light meter to see what it was expecting to see. Nowadays we still have the guess of the light meter as a starting point but in fact we have the histogram as a measure of the exposure therefore giving us a chance to see how the photograph actually recorded rather than just a guess at the kind of light that it needed in order to stimulate the film. That kind of advantage alone would be reason enough to inspect the photograph after you make the exposure. But when you add to that the fact that we now have fairly high quality previews of the image that come with that histogram, naturally that is after all why that thumbnail gets put up there to begin with, we also have a chance to look at the photograph and try and understand what it is we've just done so that we can look at uh, nuances of composition, uh, exposure, maybe areas that weren't quite as sharp from the depth of field choices we made. That The thumbnail coupled with the fact that you can zoom in on it, scroll around on it, and get an idea of what the image actually contains. Start to, to move away from this metaphor of snapping, 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 making a lot of photographs and starts to encourage the opportunity to slow way down, to consider each photograph as a unique expression of your uh, creative impulse or your reaction to the scene, and take that particular photograph that you're making, even if it's not that particular exposure, but that particular photograph seriously is a finished work of art. And that doesn't come from a lot of rapid shooting except under those rare circumstances where that evolution of motion is critical. From my standpoint, especially as a landscape photographer, that careful seeing comes from slowing way down, looking carefully, considering the exposure, considering the composition, considering the depth of field, and the ability to look at the photograph after you've made it to try and make a subsequent attempt at trying to make it the best it can be is one of the processes that I relish and cherish in this whole new digital photography workflow. We can look at the back of the camera and understand what we've done, learn from what we've just done to try and make the next attempt at making the photograph the best it can be as we learn from that. It's a workflow that's, that is not about a continuous stream of images, but taking the photograph you're making as an individual expression seriously and working it through to completion, just like you would if you were under a dark cloth on a 4x5 a hundred years ago, 20 years ago, or even today, still using a 4x5 view camera with all of the slow, methodical care that that implies.